So I got a comment from someone on one of my story videos, and it was a really great comment, and it inspired me to make this video. If you have a job, chances are you've probably had a bad day, perhaps even so badly you actually wanted to quit. And I want to tell you this story, because this day made me want to quit. I currently work at Walmart, and I actually put in my two weeks on the 15th of this month, so this is my last week. I've worked there for about 10 months now, and when I was new, I worked in the consumables department. Now, if you haven't worked in retail, I'll tell you what that is. Consumables, at least in Walmart, consists of pets, chemicals, pharmacy, health and beauty, and grocery. And I work in the super center, so basically I had to work around the entire store. I walked a lot, but one night, I was working in grocery, and I had been working in grocery all day. My schedule was 3 to 12 on that particular day, and I only had one hour left, and I was ready to go home, especially after the day I had. I was all alone in grocery that day, so everything was on me, and I was new. I only worked there for about three weeks, and I actually had never worked in grocery before. Anyway, I walked across the store to see how Health and Beauty was doing, since that was the department I was normally in. And I had a friend over there named Linda. That's not actually her name, but... I, I like the name Linda. Anyway, I walk over there and I see that Linda is at the cosmetics register. And she looks tired. She turns and sees me and excitedly asks me if I can help her. Apparently, she had been at the register all day by herself. No one else was in HBA. She had no time to get any of her work done and she would get in serious trouble for that. Now, Linda is one of the sweetest old ladies I've ever met, so there was no way I was going to turn her down. I had everything in my side of the store done anyway, and I had about an hour. But that's one hour to do all of her work from the entire day. So I went for it, and I went all out. She handled the register, and I did the work, as hard as I possibly could. 30 minutes later, everything was done, but the aisles looked like trash. I had no time to zone, which is when you pull everything forward to make, you know, the shelves look pretty. Now this story is building slowly, but this is all information that you need to know for the next part. This night manager, who apparently is in charge of making sure that everything is done right, shows up. She approaches me and says, are you working this area? And the way she said it, she was like, you could tell. She was just really frustrated that day, right? So I replied with a friendly yes, and I was going to tell her that I had been working grocery all day, and I've only been there for an hour, um, but before I could, she cut me off, and she demands to see what I had done. Funnily enough, the only thing she cared about was the zone, which hadn't been done. So when I told her that, she became furious, and she started screaming at me, okay? She then asked me what time I started. And I said, well, I started at 3, but... And then she cuts me off again. And she says, you had plenty of time to get this done. I said, no, 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 wait, wait, let me explain. And then she cuts me off again. And she, she demands to know who I'm working with. So I tell her that I've been working with Linda. So she walks over to Linda and starts screaming at her. And then after she gets done with that, she walks away. Now, I was working in grocery all day. I was on the opposite side of the store all day. And out of the kindness of my heart, I went over and helped my coworker. The point is, there are good days and there are bad days. And working sucks, I know. I've been there and I'm not acting like I had the worst job ever or even the worst experience, but I get it. Sometimes you feel like you're worthless to your boss. But if you hold in there and you show them that they're wrong, that can actually be the greatest feeling ever. Now, I'm curious. I'd like to know your guys' worst work experience. I don't care if it's a long story. I want to read it. Until then, I'll see you guys later.